Okay, so today I wanted to share some pretty exciting news on the smartphone side of things. And you may have come across this already, but still, I just wanted to go ahead and share my reaction. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so starting off from the beginning and just like it's been the case over the past however many years, there's gonna be a new Google Pixel phone dropping sometime this fall. And that thing looks just majestic. You may have come across some of the renders you know, even before Google dropped additional pictures or additional details like they did, but I really, really like the new look of these Google Pixel phones. And you have like a bunch of different, really cool, very bright colors, but very cool at the same time for both the regular and the pro version here. And yes, you heard it right. It's no longer the Excel, like it's been the case with the previous generation, but instead we have a regular and the pro version. So this particular lineup of the Google Pixel phone is expected to be playing kind of in the big league, right? So you're talking about a pro phone that's supposed to come out here and be a player in the pro phone category competing with you know your typical galaxy Note. well we don't have galaxy note anymore so competing with your s line with samsung and also competing with the iphone pro line with apple now the biggest announcement is the fact that google will be running its own proprietary chipset on these phones this is something that google has been working on over the past good four years and this is going to be google's first custom silicon to be implemented on the phone now google has indeed done some work on the making of you know other chips in the past but this is their absolute first silicon and this is really exciting because that means they'll be pulling away from qualcomm and you know the snapdragon and all that good stuff and doing a little bit like apple is doing you know with the m1 chip where apple is running its own chip so google is doing that on the side on the android side but anyway quickly going back to the actual phone itself and the design we have seen some leaks way before you know a while back before this thing even dropped coming specifically from john prosser along Let's just call it John Prosser and friends. And I'm so happy to see that those renders were so close to reality. I was just like, oh man, if we could get something this close, it would be so cool and I'm so happy that this thing just happens to be the case. Now in my specific situation, I would love to get that gold color. It just has my name written all over it. Now in terms of just design, Google just, you know, took it and ran with it. They really went all out they look like pro phone because they are pro phones right so the pro version of it looks to have kind of a matte back you know there versus the regular one that seems to have more of a glossy back but either way they look they both look very very cool and as you can see here just based off of those pictures they look very modern and just very sleek i can't wait to get my hands on one of these now on the back of either one of these phones there's a very very noticeable you know black strip there that's where the camera is and so far all of us seems to be calling it the camera bar the horizontal camera strip or camera but oh by the way if this is your first time visiting well welcome to the channel of course i'm really hoping that you're enjoying the content so far if you are i truly appreciate that please do me a huge favor hit both the like and the subscribe button there it's a huge boost to this channel here and again i truly appreciate it all right so let's get back to these phones here so as i mentioned you have that black strip on the back there so essentially it's the camera module and according to some of the stuff that we've learned so far the big pixel so the pixel pro in this case the larger pixel is going to have some additional details some additional stuff that the regular pixel does not have on that camera on the front of the devices here we have a punch hole selfie camera right in the middle not on the side like we've been accustomed to seeing but right in the middle and you have some pretty thin bezels the pro one seems to have even you know thinner bezels but still even the regular one is still thin enough and that same regular pixel 6 is boasting a 6.4 inches display so definitely a nice size there for a regular phone the google pixel 6 pro on the other hand is pushing a 6.7 inches screen and that is so massive especially for a pixel we haven't seen anything that size you know with the google pixel line in the past before so i'm excited to see what this has to offer now that same pixel 6 pro 
is also offering a high refresh rate at 120 hertz. Very much looking forward to seeing how that's gonna play with the user experience. The regular Pixel 6 is pushing 90 hertz refresh rate also. Now, you, we might, that difference might not be that noticeable, you know, to the naked eye, except for people who really, really close, you know, pay close attention to it and get their phones really close to their, you know, to their face. I personally think both are gonna be super smooth, but we'll get to see, you know, obviously, once it's dropped and we get to compare them. As I mentioned earlier, Google has this new custom chip or this new Tensor chip, like they call it, and apparently it's set to work just wonders. You know, just beyond the computational value that it will offer, you know, for the phone as a whole, when focusing on just photography, apparently it just takes that to the next level. You have to keep in mind when Google is doing something as custom as, let's say, Samsung does, you know, with the Exynos, it gives Google that kind of leverage to really control and mold your user experience, you know, to really just, so that it's very much tailored to use. So essentially just do things that enhance that user experience for you, because you have to keep in mind, you know, when you're thinking AI, you know, Google's AI and machine learning capabilities added to this guy here. I don't know, I know there's a lot of hype you know, a lot of super high expectation as far as what having a custom chip like this will do to user experience and whether it's gonna pull in, you know, more consumers. But I'm getting hyped because I am excited at what it's supposed to offer. Now, when it, as far as it offering it, when it drops, that's gonna be a completely different subject, but I'm just really taken by the excitement of just seeing things that, it has the potential to do. So I'm very much looking forward to that. And with that Google's AI and machine learning, you know, just beyond the improvements that it's supposed to bring to photography, there's also supposed to be a huge focus on just video and, you know, just bettering video quality that you get out of a Pixel phone. Now, as far as the Pixel line itself, those phones are known to take some of the top level pictures, you know, in the industry, but the videos are not always the case. So this is supposed to take that to the next level. Also, it's looking at improving voice to speech feature and make more accurate text to speech and also translation features. So again, because all of this is relying on, you know, Google's AI and machine learning, the expectation is that it will evolve as it learns, you know, the habits of the consumer and really make for an experience that is very, very enjoyable by you know, by you when you buy the phone. But anyway, let me just not drag on that too much. Now talking performance, obviously we don't have the phone. We just know that performance is supposed to be enhanced also. And as I mentioned earlier, it gives Google some leverage in terms of like tweaking things and making sure that they go for that optimum performance. So that's all we know. We are just gonna have to wait to see how Google, how well Google implements that and how it truly impacts you know performance but i have no doubt that it's supposed to perform that it's going to perform very well again something very much to look forward to and in the spirit of keeping the video short we're just gonna have to stop here but again this is some exciting news i would love to hear what you have to say about this you know in the past google the google pixel line hasn't been something that was just you know going viral as soon as it hit the market do you think this is the one do you think this particular lineup would just take off i know it has a ton of things to offer and I'm very much looking forward to seeing how that's gonna go. And because this particular situation is different, Google actually made sure to drop everything kinda early. You know, they dropped all of these details. Let me know what you think of this in the comment section. I hope this was informative. If you didn't know about, you know, this news, I think by now quite a few people have made videos on it. I just wanted to kinda give you my two cents. So I'm very much looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing your comments, right? Just wanna get that interaction going in the comments section. I'm going to catch you down in that comment section. I'm also going to catch you in the next video. As always, of course, up until that next video. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe. I'm pretty sure I said that, but up until that next video, of course, make sure to stay safe out there.